Chili. Woo! Aua! He sliced me open. <laughs> Hello everyone! Yeah! Happy New Year! We made it another year! Actually, this was supposed to be my last video of 2020. 2022. What are the odds that I upload this on the 1st of January? This is the odd. So Happy New Year. Let's all hope 2023 is gonna be great and has a lot of great surprises for all of us. I feel like 2022 and 2021 were both what he said. I feel like it's the same year. Is there a difference between 2021 and 2022? No, right? Today we're gonna do something that is very needed because I cannot even look at myself in the viewfinder because I hate my hair so fucking much right now. It's just... Uh. It's weird because I dyed my hair so many times but I did not remember that you have to tone your hair before you dye it brown. <laughs> and now I'm left with the aftermath which is green hair. And it's not the good kind of brown broccoli green uh-uh it's kind of yellow green and it also has this oh it literally makes me sick so the only reason i'm not and the only reason i'm not wearing a and the only reason I am not wearing a wig right now is because i will be wearing wigs when will you wear wigs <laughs> We're gonna test wigs from Etsy and not just any wigs, not just poo boring normal wigs. We're gonna try the crazy ones, the extravagant ones, the ones that actually had put. The ones that actually had put. The ones that actually. The ones that actually had put many hours of work into them before they got shipped to me. Because Etsy is just the place for that. This is no Etsy ad. I love Etsy. I love Etsy too. I mean, yes, it is like this huge brand itself, but it always just supports smaller brands. Why am I explaining Etsy to you? <laughs> you guys know what Etsy is, right? I saw this on Mia Maple's channel where she also ordered crazy Etsy wigs and I was like, I need all of these. Even though I didn't order the ones she ordered, except maybe one. I found a whole new world on Etsy. If you just look far enough, if you just scoop your way through all the standard wigs, you will find the good ones. They are quite pricey, most of them, but that is because, as I said, somebody took their time to make these wigs. So without any further ado, let's get into them. Before I forget it, you can actually get my two perfumes right now on perfumedreams.de or .co.uk. This is the first time the perfumes are actually available while I'm talking and while I post this video right now. So you better get your ass onto this page and order. I don't know, maybe it's already sold out. You should look. <laughs> Link is in the description. You can order internationally on this website. Well, not completely internationally, but Europe wide. So check it out and I'll go get my wigs. But first things first, let's get rid of this abomination of my hair. Yeah. <laughs> this was supposed to be a mohawk. Where is my mole? Where is my hawk? I mean, it just needs styling. Right? Originally, it should not need styling. I'm styling it right now and all the hairs are falling out. When I said I'm gonna order wigs that were styled for hours and hours, I'm not talking about this one. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of dig this look like this and then we have a little mullet going on This is giving me vibes, but this is kind of not what I was promised Okay, this wig was just 14 euros and 50 cents You can definitely feel that because all of the hair is falling out This is just supposed to be a little fun moment But I did indeed think that I'm gonna get this and not this but I guess you could style it up with a lot of hairspray. <laughs> this is giving me 2022 TikTok trend. Enough for this one. Let's look at something a bit more expensive and less synthetic and a bit more mohawky. <gasps> what? What? I look so good. This is giving me like Viking vibes. 2022. Giving me rosé. The drag queen? This just really gives me strong main character vibes. Like Ygritte from Game of Thrones kind of vibes. She's not a main character, but she's a bad bitch. This is a wig by Showgirl Vanity. And she really makes a lot of like drag wigs. Very extravagant, very Viking. And this one costs 155 
euros which is okay I mean it's definitely synthetic but I still think it's like a very high quality synthetic wig it has a very good lace but if you look closely you can definitely see like the parts of the wig down here I don't know what it's called actually what is this called you can just see it but like I don't think anybody would look this close and you also have like all of this volume so they will all be looking at your volume and maybe at your pimple right there mm. I don't know what it is about this wig. It just makes me feel hella strong and very confident and like I could punch you in the face if I wanted to. I don't want to, but if I would want to, I would do it. Maybe if we talk first and then maybe we can also sort it out by just talking and I don't, wouldn't have to punch you, but if I really, really would have to, I would probably do it. I actually have some more wigs of her because I love her work. Oh, I don't even know if she's her. I mean, the name says Showgirl Vanity. I'm just gonna say them. They have more wigs. Let me put on another one. <laughs> wow, it fits perfectly to my background. You can't even see the top schnoodle dude. <laughs> Yes, this is a schnoodle dude wig. I do have to say though, this one looks a little bit more messy than the other one. I think that is supposed to be the look, that it's like kind of a messy triple updo kind of thing. But still, it looks a bit too messy for my taste. You can still see like the bobby pins here. It looks like this is not gonna be holding it together very well. I really have to say that even though this is synthetic hair, it does look quite real. It is shiny. Yes, if you look closely, if you take pictures with a flashlight you will see that it's synthetic but just, just from far away in movement there's some bling 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 <laughs> it's just there and vincent saw it from like five miles away <laughs> yeah i think it's really ugly you don't like the colors no oh uh, yeah the side yeah the side's really ugly yeah it does look a little bit like <laughs> like this but I do have to say I'm quite surprised that the lace is so white because I'm usually very very pale and the laces of the wig never match my skin color so that's new for me but I don't mind it I think it's kind of a look this one is called punk girl multicolored lace front unit so we're talking about punk Vincent that's why the hair color is like this because we don't give a fuck Vincent gives a fuck so he does not approve it was 135 dollars apart from the coloring the dyeing of the wig which might not be for everybody's taste I still think that it's a good price for this kind of quality wig <laughs> What a chunk! Oh my god, how do I even put this on? Oh, it's so heavy! Oh! <gasps> Guys, this doesn't even fit into the frame. Oh, it looks kind of stupid on camera, actually. But I swear, in real life, it's giving me real life. Is it broken up there? Why is it connected? Or oh, maybe it's holding it together. I think there's also something in there to get the volume. Paper. This is giving me Sailor Moon Magical Girl vibes. Even though Sailor Moon wishes she had this volume. <laughs> I can't even like look up because I feel like it's gonna fall down. So I keep having to do this. But I don't care because I love it. <laughs> How do you like it? Mm, yeah, it's fun. Vincent thinks it's fun. I don't know what's going on in the back. Can you look what's going on in the back? Because I feel like something is wrong here. Apparently, they don't go around. They just create the illusion to be going around the ponytails. What's your name, B.O.B., so they calling you Bob? Magical Naomi is on her way to defeat the evil. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna kick the demon's bottom with my right ponytail these are my weapons i have no arms fight me <laughs> i hope i will find some kind of occasion where i can wear this one but this really screams music video at me which drag queen would you see this wig in on i think this could also be trixie mattel this really screams her name but i guess now it's time to tell you how much i paid for this one this wig is called britney and she was 345 dollars so quite a lot but then again it's a lot for a lot of hair. I don't get any penny that I spend on this one because I just know I will be making some kind of iconic look out of it. I mean, I already have an iconic look with it just by wearing it, but I can make so much out of this wig. I already know it. Ding fucking dong, bitch. Okay, next one. Definitely a shout out to Showgirl Vanity because these wigs are really good. I mean, I did wait for them for a 
really freaking long time but they do disclose that on their Etsy shop for the next one I'm not gonna explain anything I'm just gonna come at you in three two one <laughs> This also gives me drag queen vibes. I feel like this could be Rock'em Sakura. And they also send me this cute little flower. Very anime. I mean, obviously because it's just very painted, even though it's... What is this material called anyway? I feel like this could give you great ASMR. Wow. <laughs> wow, I love everything so far, except the first one, but I love everything so far. I can see Vincent's very, very jealous looks for this wig. <laughs> Welcome to the Shabby Shaloon. Can you be a bit smaller? <laughs> oh, I ripped it. <laughs> so it's Look at us! Oh, I'm sorry. We're so cute! <laughs> I think I'm cuter. Yours was very cheap. Mine was expensive. Wow. I mean, you can see the quality difference. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks <laughs> so flat. <laughs> it literally is making your head 2D. <laughs> oh. <okay. laughs> you look rich, mama. That is really giving like maybe also a little bit of Robin Red Riding Hood. No, what does he call Robin Hood? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, she's so Oh, she's so this one actually was 61 euros. This one was 145 euros. So there definitely is a bit of a price difference. I still think this one is also very cute. You can definitely see a lot more details in this. This is a complete different fabric, to be honest. I don't know why I'm saying to be honest. It's not like that's a lie. <laughs> this is pool noodle fabric and this foam fabric. I really love both of them. I think this could also be a fun wig for a music video. I just really don't know how I'm gonna incorporate it but I feel like the day will come maybe it's also just for an event don't know which one but the day will come okay the next one is this one which is called the original devamp silver wig and you can see ivy blue wore this wig I was sold oh Sharon needles also wore this wig um, okay <laughs> maybe I'll send it back but let's have a look at it because this was 335 euros. Very expensive. Oh, ah! Oh! <laughs> it looked better on Ivy Blue. I need a new conditioner. <laughs> oh no, this looks absolutely terrible. I spent 300 euros on this wig and it looks so bad. <laughs> look like an egg. I mean, maybe from the side? Does it look good from the side? Ethereal beauty. Are you looking for the Ethereal Beauty? <laughs> Can I still send this back? I found a new owner for my wig. At least it does not just look horrible just on me. <laughs> I don't know. If Vincent can't wear it, then it really is lost. Then no one can wear it, to be honest. Okay, Vincent, I'll give this to you because it looks so good on you. The next one is gonna be my most expensive wig that I have bought. It is this one right here. It was 400 euros, I think even 450 euros because I also bought the necklace that comes with it. I mean, on the picture, it looks really good. I was also thinking this might be a good music video wig for some kind of pearly look. Right here, you see that the bangs are really long. I hope they're not really that long. So let me just try it on. <gasps> She is heavy. I mean, it's all pearls, so I don't know what I expected, but this is really heavy. And it's also not really a wig. It's more like a, a piece that has a lot of pearls tied to it. Oh, <gasps> oh, now I feel ethereal. That is so pretty. Oh my God, this is literally a music video wig. I can't even show this to you guys. I need to keep this wig a secret so you're super surprised when I wear it in a music video. Nobody will ever know that I unpacked it in an Etsy video. <laughs> just imagine me being naked and then just... <laughs> no, don't imagine me like that. That's naughty. <laughs> I love that you can also adjust the bangs. Like if you want it long, if you want it like really short, but it is very heavy. I don't think you're gonna be able 
to wear it during gym class even though it has those little combs on the inside I honestly don't think there will do much but I think you could actually wear your actual hair underneath and not a wig cap so you can just get this in your hair so it's maybe a little bit more secure wow you look so sexy and like I'm falling asleep yeah <laughs> but I thought that might just be your sexy stare stop that with your tongue please <laughs> oh gorgeous why is this wig still here okay for the next ones they are expensive again and I have bought two from the same seller okay is this is my bangs very pretty you like this one yes I actually don't know about it because when I just took it out there was a lot falling off and you can really see the lace underneath because obviously again it's not a normal wig it's more like a wig cap and a lot glued to it but I think it's a little bit taking me out of the fantasy that I can see so much of this I feel like it needs to be more transparent this is the 90s butterfly wig and now looking at the picture looks a bit different because I feel like this is not supposed to be like this I just noticed this is supposed to be like this like stuck to this part where is this part hanging here or is this supposed to hang like this it is a bit messy maybe I can fix this I think this was just hot glued I can still see the hot glue guys just let me know what you think of it maybe I'm too strict or maybe I'm not strict enough I don't know I actually ordered two wigs and I just got this one out of the package and I thought the other one was gonna be in there as well, but it's not actually I was supposed to have this safety pin wig which looks super super cool. I found it. It was in this target bag. Wow, nice mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't say anything this is not what I ordered. This is what it's supposed to look like. Why did I get a bob? Why did I get a short haircut? And why is this so damn visible? I think the seller just ran out of time. I mean, I could technically actually like buy a lot of these and put them on there so they're longer, but that is not what I just spent 200 euros on. <laughs> so I actually messaged the seller and they said, quote, all of their safety pin wigs are pre-measured with the same amount of pins and that each of their wigs are unique and therefore not identical which i would definitely understand if it were minor differences to the picture but my wig is literally a short bob while the one on the picture was even past shoulder length and obviously had way more pins they unfortunately said return is not possible but they offered me to send me more strands of pins which i could attach myself i will definitely try that and see if i can save the wig that way um but uh yeah i will keep you guys uh, <laughs> updated <laughs> okay guys Guys, I think now it is time for our finale. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. <laughs> Gray. Gray is the trendy color of 2023. You're just jealous. Oh, I see what you mean, but I think it's just highlights. Vincent, I'm sorry, but this is like my moment. <laughs> I do have to say, I thought it would give me a bit more vibes. The Sailor Moon wig definitely like made my heart flutter immediately. This one is like, hmm. But maybe it's also because my prince doesn't appreciate the five hours I spent making this hair today. <laughs> you deserve more, is what your prince thinks. Are you breaking up with me? <laughs> By the way, this is the wig I saw in Mia Maple's video and I was like, I need this. But I feel like on me, it's not really giving that much. Maybe it's the background light. Ah, so much better. I really have to say it's very well made. It's very, very clean, very structured, very on point, and also very stable. But I do get this. I don't know why it's like so light in the front. This is the Marie Antoinette Rococo wig in powdered green. This was 258 euros, so definitely not the most expensive one, even though I thought this was going to be the most expensive one. But yeah, I think it's very well made. It's just an ugly color. But it really does its job. I think if I would just cast for Bridgerton, that would probably take me. Confidence is key. <laughs> this was my last wig for today. This was amazing. I had so many surprises. A few disappointments. 
segment. I really thought this was gonna be my favorite wig because it's just the most extra, but turns out it's not. I think my most favorite wig is definitely the huge as anime Sailor Moon wig and maybe even the pearl wig. I also really love that one. Vincent, what was your favorite wig? I have literally forgotten about all of them. So Vincent's favorite is the butterfly one and the blue foam wig, but he for sure hates this one, which makes me kind of sad because I spend so much time making it. I can actually use so many of these wigs for upcoming music videos or just really, really extra looks. I just don't really don't know how to store all of it. I hope we all have a great 2023. Why do we? keep saying this it just really gets old <laughs> but no we're gonna be positive i for sure can't wait for another 2023 with you broccolis on this channel and on all of my social media because you're everywhere so that's what i really look forward to but only if you type down below that you love this wig on my head right now oh yeah what was your favorite wig now that i mention it comment down below i'm gonna make myself some russell sprouts for dinner do they make you fart I think that was a yes. See you guys next week. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on <laughs> Naomi John on <laughs> and the Naomi John on. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. For thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Let's make 2023 a broccoli year. 2022 was already a broccoli year. Actually, the year before that too. Let's just keep broccoling broccolis. Yeah.